Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. When I looked at this uh, cheap frame, the Brand X one, I asked you a question. Should I install a dropper if I am to build this uh, hardtail? And the huge majority of you said yes, definitely. And yes, definitely to internally routed dropper, but this one doesn't have any ports to get the cable out. So. Here's my attempt to drill a hole right here on the seat tube just to get the cable out. Other options are to drill a hole here at the back, bring the cable under the bottom bracket and all the way up, or another option would be to drill a hole right here on my down tube and bring the cable out that way. If I am to do that, I will need to bring the cable down through there and then make a really sharp more than 90 degrees here to bring the cable up and I don't want to do that also if you open this frame as you can see uh, there is no draining hole drilled here underneath the bottom bracket so you might want to consider that just to complete this uh, mod and that's why I think the more elegant solution for me would be to make the hole right here and run the cable on top of the down tube. Something very similar to what I have on this Kona hardtail. And measuring from the weld above the bottom bracket, that Kona has the port about eight centimeters high, which is about three and a half inches up from the weld. This kind of ports use rubber grommets to protect the cable from rubbing. And I measured this for you and you would need a hole that's six by 14 millimeters uh, long. If you were to measure center to center for a drill, that would be eight millimeter uh, for six millimeter drill bit. I plan to mark the hole, then center punch the two uh, holes for the big drill bit. But before that, I'm gonna use this tiny 2.2 millimeter uh, drill bit as a pilot hole. Drilling the hole is gonna have to be off center, making room for your drill here on the side of the down tube. You want to make sure your drill bit is perpendicular to the surface you're drilling. Use a sharpie to mark your two holes right here on the tube. I marked the work area and I took the frame down from the stand because I want it to be as stable as possible. You see my two punch holes over there. Now I'm going to use the big bit just to make the hole as big as I need it. Drilling is done. This was really easy. Just take your time guys. What I'm going to do next is either take a file and uh, finish uh, shaping up this hole or use something like a Dremel, a rotary tool just to finish off that uh, drill hole. I ended up using mostly the half round and the flat on one side and the round tiny file and here is my opening. If you're not going to use a rubber grommet like the one I showed you, I guess you can make this hole only about 10 millimeters long here. And one thing that you can also do to keep water out, just put a nice small piece of tape on top of it just like that. And here is with that rubber grommet inserted. You tell me that this doesn't look like factory. Let the beer flow because I'm really, really happy how this turned out. Wow. And in order to keep that enthusiasm alive, why don't we talk about how we route the cable up the down tube. Obviously you can use uh, zip ties like this, kind of looks Mickey Mouse, but I guess it's going to do it. Uh, if you have a bottle cage like this, you can attach to it in a couple of points, definitely at the bottom, at the top, and then somehow uh, attach the cable here close to your head tube. I want to point out to you this little clip here. It's called the Jaguar Stick-On uh, Housing Guide. It comes with 3M tape at the back, so you're gonna stick this to your frame and it provides you these anchors for your housing. I am planning to install one more right here close to the head tube. Believe it or not, this was fairly simple. Measure twice, cut one step of thing. Always remember that by doing something like this, you're definitely, definitely voiding the warranty. Any warranty that you might have for that frame is gone. But if you're okay with that, this is something very easy to do and I would argue it will clean up your bike quite a bit as opposed to running an externally routed cable uh, through here and have it dangling around as you're raising or lowering the seat. What do you guys think? If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. As usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, keep an eye on social media. And until next time, I uh, will see you folks on the trails, hopefully riding a Brand X frame just like this one. Cheers guys, cheers.